That's right, we're back on Super F1 Circus. Hello? <clears throat> Jumping on early today. I want to get some time in with this game. I'm in that grind mindset where I just, I need to get it. I need to get it done. I need to, we need to put the time in and we need to get it done. I won't be satisfied until we conquer the Super F1 Circus. So we're gonna work on it in a bit. My friend does want to play some King Death Monster, so we're probably gonna switch off later. I do some KDM, which means for the YouTube crowd, this will be a shorter farm session of a few hours here. I'm gonna try to just be a course or two. Now, we were unfortunately reset due to the lost data. I have since backed up my save file. I'm going to continuously back up the save file. So we can try to avoid another disaster. We're also no longer on the uh, thing. the English patch in case that was what the problem was. <clears throat> Resident Sleeper car. I'm a big fan of cars here. I am hoping the English patch is the reason why the data was corrupted. There were a lot of things that it was doing. There's the double text. When I hit pit, I guess it depends on which side the pit is on as which side disappears. Them racing circus. Yo, hello, gents. Welcome on in. So this track was like, uh, we're not able to get a good time on this with the car we have. But during the race, the AI seemed to pit stop twice. Due to the longevity of it. So I'll try to get an okay time. And we'll just accept whatever place we get on this race. Hopefully I get some points. I think what I'll do is go through until our initial tires turn yellow. I'll use C tires and then... We'll try to only pit stop once. Unlike the AI that seemed to want to do it twice. I think that do be the plan, yo. That do be the plan. Wait, stop turning off the OT. Stupid AI. <laughs> okay, we're back on another day with this game. We're gonna be on this game for a very long time. Probably. This might be one of the longest racing games, depending on how the future F1 titles execute their thing. So I'm not looking forward to the sequel of this game. F1 Circus 3, just due to longevity. The game is still, I think, a decent F1 
Formula One game. I just wish it didn't take so long lap wise and force the player to go through eight entire cycles of the 16 tracks. Oh. Alright, we'll just let that go if 156 places, that's fine. Engine broke early and the AI immediately went into pit, so we didn't get our final actual lap time. If we're not qualified for this one, I think we want to skip this track, which would be more convenient. Oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I hit qualifier too. I guess we get to try again. Yeah, it's long. It's long. There's eight cycles through the 16 tracks, and the tracks are many, many laps apiece. On top of qualifier. And there's no way to accelerate this. We're also in a handicapped car. Now, my, my best hope is we get a better car sponsor by earning some points now. And then with a better car, we have a better performance and we can win the whole thing. And when we win the whole thing, if we get an ending scene, that would be the best outcome. Instead of doing all eight cycles of the 16 tracks. As this is already set to take me well over 100 hours. And that's not even including the save file becoming corrupt since we've seen the game might be unstable to some degree. I'm gonna count on this uh, next go around how many times we can OT before the engine dies. So that's one. And we're gonna do it again down here. Hey, what's up, Skull? How you doing? It's three. You fell asleep right after your shower. Yeah, that's a good feeling. Shower and sleep. Get nice and comfortable. Hope you're all refreshed from that. We're just getting started for the day, so, you know, no progress yet. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. I'm gonna wait till we're past and a nine in case it broke. Alright, 135 is the best time we can ever muster on this thing. And then 10 should break. There's a 10 OTs.
I'll wait until we're like closer to the finish line. I mean, I don't know for sure if we have to, but currently it's looking like we have to. So get ready for 100 plus hours of Formula One. I'll try to speed it up as much as I can. <clears throat> it's the same car as before. We still haven't unlocked a superior sponsor yet. We had the save corruption, so we started on cycle one of eight again. Yeah, unfortunately. We're doing better this time around. I'm hoping the car sponsors are tied to how many points you earn in a season. So we're already ahead on points. Compared to last time. Alright, that was 10, that's 11, so I'm not sure how exactly your engine blows out. There you go, blew it out just in time. <laughs> but yeah, we have lots of grinding to do. We're just going to try to finish this race, so... We'll see how things go. So our car is way too slow. <laughs> Do you see tires? Cheese. I wish there was cheese. I mean, that's basically all the acceleration I can do is blow out the engine on a qualifier. <laughs> then we get petted and it stops the qualifier. That's like the only tr trick to speeding it up that I can think of. <clears throat> so sad. <clears throat> All right, we're just going for longevity here, right? Now the other hour behind us is just somebody who is uh, trying to pass us, or they're up our ass. There goes the AI acting like a dumbass. Gotta love this game's autopilot, but I'm I'm too lazy to manual if I don't have to. Although if I have to, I've, I've shown in that other race, so we can take second place by manual. So this is me fighting to stay on the track, because the AI is trying to stay off the track. I don't know why. It insists on going off the track just because a car is in front of it, but I'll try not to harp on that too much. We were harping on it all day yesterday. It is what it is. The game is what it is. Good enough for me. <laughs> I'll take it, I guess. AI will dominate the world, yep. Why is there an AI doing stuff to my controls? The game allows you to turn on AI controls and the AI will manage your speed and he'll turn you too. <clears throat> so I don't have to worry about making all these turns and I can turn with the AI so we can turn tighter than if I did it solo. If I was doing these turns solo, they would be practically impossible to make while keeping speed. It's basically, the AI cheats and we're using it to cheat. The downside is the AI doesn't like to pass other cars. 
it gets really scared about it as you can see it's shaking and slowing down and, and just being weird and you can kind of pass cars when you have the overtake option going like that <clears throat> yeah, taking a turn in F1 games is just unintuitive. We've we've watched Formula One clips after some of the first Formula One games we played, because I was like, "There's no way this is reflective of reality." And when you're watching real Formula One cars, they just turn. Like, it's no big deal. They turn and skid and stuff at over two to 300 kilometers an hour. No problems turning. In the video games, impossible to turn the car. <laughs> that is our teammate who decided it was a good idea to smash into us right there. And then we lost control because he hit us. <laughs> Alright, the AI is being brutal. Yeah, we're just gonna get off this track. I'm going to break my, uh... I'm gonna break my engine on purpose. We'll just take a zero point track. Our car can't compete on this track for whatever reason. He sold out. <laughs> they do all they can to make sure the player has the worst possible time. Not allowed to let the player have fun with your video game. It's a shame too, I really think this is the best visual perspective. It doesn't feel terrible controlling the car and stuff, it's just the weird behavior of the AI is problematic. Imagine making a fun video game, eh. Alright, let's just leave. I'm gonna blow up the car. <clears throat> we would never catch up to the leaders with that performance. Yeah, <laughs> there would be no crash in the tomb. They tend to win the exchanges, which sucks. They just had tuned this game to be fair to the player. It would be a pretty sweet F1 racing game. It might be one of the best. I need to go through my list and see which one is the best one. I can think of it in my head, but I don't remember which one it was. So there was one that had very good turning. And we beat it in just a few hours because the car was actually good at driving. <laughs> he used to love watching F1, but then all cars basically became the same. He quit watching. I mean, as technology advances, everyone wants to have the best, right? 
There's no point in competing if your machine can't compete. And only the one, only the companies that are winning are profiting. So it's not like the losers can keep on losing. And then sponsoring people to not win for them. Makes sense they all become the same. He watches Korean dramas. Ah, uh, K drama. Engine should be breaking soon. I hold off until we're further along. So we don't have to go the whole track in slow mood. How we knife? We got fucked up by some really mean AI who ran into us, took us off the road, and then they continued to drive past unimpeded as we uh, got owned. This is a skill issue, no doubt. Definitely not a gameplay balance problem. <laughs> Shouldn't we be last? I actually passed a few other dudes, so... We passed the AI that are performing even worse than we are. Yo, give me that slipstream. Look at how fast he accelerates. That's what we need. We need that kind of acceleration. By all intents and purposes, that dude should still be on my screen. <laughs> he barely got on the road ahead of us. Come on, now's the time to blow out your engine. Thank you. Okay, good. Let's get off of this track. This track sucks. take care zero points there should be a give up option there is not you are stuck until you enter the pit <laughs> harpu senshu oshiku muri uh i always forget that one because i think that's a katakana that's actually three katakana that's why i don't know it <laughs> Yo, we're still in fifth. We have 12 points. We're doing good on this run. TLDR, I suck. It's true. It's true. Remember that Harpu sucks the most of any other gamer out there. Alright, Monaco. Don't know how well this one will go. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that button. Whatever. They don't know how bad our car is. The devs know. They know how bad it is. That's why they force you to pick only the two weakest dudes to start. They didn't want you to uh, actually have a good time with it. This is the first time the game has ever rolled rain and sun, so I don't know how that's going to impact things. As long as it stays raining at the beginning, we should get our lap time on the second lap.
Yeah, da, da, da. by the way, what's up? Uh, this is this track. We're driving on the wrong lane, you. Yeah? They say you found out there. Tabletop RPG Power Ranger books. I think there are RPG books for pretty much everything. If you include fan and officially released products. We're in the tunnel! The weird yellow tunnel! I don't like the tunnel graphics in this game. It just doesn't look good. <laughs> They're official and there's a lot. I wonder how many people actually play Power Rangers RPG or role playing. <laughs> Get your Super Sentai RPing and transformation sequences must be really fun during these games. I mean, if I did the DMs, like, all right, you guys have to perfectly recite. Yeah, transformation sequence. And we're gonna pull off the, the cyberbot shit. Yeah, what's up, Shadowcaster? F1. F1. Sugoi. F1. There's a rule book for each ranger. I mean, you gotta know how to play somewhere. Right? We've unfortunately caught up to the fucking AI, and I wasn't paying attention on this lap, so this is a throwaway lap. I might have to reset on the qualifier. Why are we already caught up to these guys? Stupid ass car. Go, man. He fucked up. <laughs> Dude, that's how bad the AI is. <laughs> Fucking AI in this game. And yet he's so good at turning. It's hard to let him. It's hard to let him go. I did it once. I'll do it again if I must. There you go. You can pass this guy too, so I can actually have a, a lap attempt. This isn't going to be much of a lap attempt. Because we didn't start speeding. I go fast in rain. I drive expediently. Are all tracks pain or just Monaco? Honestly, the tracks aren't so bad in this game. They're not so bad. Now, if you're on manual mode, which we are not, turning is a lot harder to maintain a high speed with. The game is pretty cool, but it's grindy as hell. You should be happy, I would think, Shadowcaster. We're, oh, shit. <laughs> We're gonna be playing this game for, uh, like 100 hours. 140 kilometers through the hairpin. Hey, the AI does it. The AI does, like, 200 through the hairpin. Why can't I do it? They don't slow down. Why do I have to slow down? But yeah, we're going to be playing this game for a while, unfortunately. It's another SNES Mode 7 racing game on SNES, and you don't mean FCA, which is very good. Forgot the name. There's a couple of Mode 7 racers that are pretty cool. We've played another one earlier.
I also forget the name though. We've played so many. They sort of overlap in my mind, unfortunately. Goes to show how truly stand out a Formula One racing game is from one another. If we can get past this guy, we might be able to actually have a time attack on our hands. But we have to get past this other car. Felt the seconds a bit grindy. Ah, uh, we still have to play the second. I'm tired of grinding Formula One games already. I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't want to anymore. I legit wish I could take these other cars off for of the qualifier track. No, I don't enjoy fighting the AI. There's like no actually legitimate reason it should be programmed this way other than to troll the player. I'm pretty sure the devs don't want you on AI mode. They want you on manual mode. And I'm just like, Jesus. Alright, we can get a sick time. I'm gonna reset the qualifier. This might be a bit problematic though, once we catch up to the other dudes. So, I have an idea. We're gonna do the very first lap extra slow. <laughs> so that when I do my actual race time, I don't run into any of them. Second one had the problem of having to redo the same tracks over and over to get an upgrade to be able to profit from the races with better rewards, and the lower two tracks weren't even real life ones, which is a turn off for you. <clears throat> We're kind of in that situation here. So, this game has a bunch of sponsors you can pick, and it only let us pick one of two, and it's two of the worst ones. The cars aren't really upgradable, so we have a completely outclassed car. And we have to convince somehow, I assume through points, a better sponsor to pick us up. And this game has eight cycles. We're on the first of eight. Technically, we should be on the second of eight, but my game save got corrupted live. Literally, we li I reset the console, we loaded it in and said, oh, save corrupted, and it deleted the save. So now I'm backing up the saves every once in, in a while. Is that the power down and take out the SD flash cart for that? And hopefully we don't have to worry about save corruption as much. Alright, here's where I'm going to slow down. I want the uh, AI to get further ahead of me. Have a nice casual drive. Imagine if you named the term which sponsors you could get. If that was the case, I would be pretty upset. Quick, what is the name that gives you Williams? <laughs> Somebody tell me. One PP looks gorgeous. Do we play PP? Is that SNES or is that like Genesis or something? What year is this based on? Oh, the game came out in 1993. 
I don't know what year it's based on. up to them again why are they so slow on this track the goal is to not catch up to them I should have slid down harder on my last pass Wait, your stats in Dragon Quest are affected by your name? Oh shit. I didn't know that. Yay, bumper cars. Alright, 122. We can blow up our engine now. And we'll see if 122 is any good. Although it feels pretty slow for this track. I feel like we could go faster. If I didn't fuck up. I don't know if I can blow up my engine on this track. <laughs> There's not enough straightaways where I'm over 220 miles an hour. Or kilometers an hour. Being Prost could get me the Williams? What's Prost? What do you mean being Prost? Oh, that was much cleaner. I was ready for it. Stop being confused. <laughs> Just drive past the guy. Oh, we could have a sick time. I might need to try this again. If the car would stop slowing down, we would have a really sick time. We'll try again. We'll try one more time. So the further in the pole position I am, the easier it is to actually win. Check my tube upload. Hells yeah, tube uploads. That's what they're there for. Capital letters, lowercase ones of different values. Nani? Well, no spoilers. I'm gonna run through Dragon Quest as Harpoo. I'm gonna hope that it's uh, a good statted name to pure chance if that's the way it's done on the SNES remake. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a low statted name. That would be typical of me and my luck. All right, I think we can get sub 120 on this track. I just need the AI to be very, 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 very far away from me. In fact, I should probably wait until they're, like, behind me. <laughs> what if Harpoo gives no stack with at all? I guess it's gonna be a really hard challenge playthrough, huh? Of 
Too close, man. We should wait. The one dude who just lags behind is the biggest problem. <laughs> I feel like he's still too close. I'm gonna really give him some space here. Because we need to zoom through this map. Unimpeded. Hopefully that's enough. Check charge makes HP and MP grow bad. That's so weird that your stat grows are tied to your name. One team's car that didn't finish the season and completely folded up. Thanks, game devs. I guess I should stick with the other choice, but we're in too deep now. <laughs> yeah, we're at Italia Scudera or something like that. Scudera Italia. So, what you're saying is Italy sucks, huh? <laughs> Poor Italian fans out there. Shit, alright, that went poorly. We'll try again on the next lap. Get some better turn action. I gotta slow down a bit there. I'm coming out of that tunnel. I believe in you. Oh, that was terrible. They weren't last in the championship though. They had their best finish at some place while well, last team only finished 10th at best. Interesting. Right, I'm gonna give it one more try. When I'm boosting across the start, we have to slow down after we pass the thing. Yeah, it is surprisingly accurate. When I first go through, before I was trying these strats out to maybe succeed, we basically were seventh place all the time. I think we finished with only, what, 8 points? 10 points total? Weren't last for the Constructor. I'll try and keep that in mind though when I play future Formula 1 games. I usually pick the green or blue cars because green and blue are the better colors, but I will stay away from Italia Scudera. 
if they are trashed here. <laughs> Alright, I need to slow it down here. So we can make this turn. Wait, did they both tie like a true tie? And that's embarrassing, I guess. Okay, that was clean. It wasn't as clean as the one time I went through it, but what are you gonna do? Tight turn. Okay, I can't get sub 20. Not with this car. What did we have the one time? Was it like a 122? We're, we're too close to this other guy. I think I have to finish the qualifier proper. I'm not gonna blow up my vehicle here. And then once we get behind this guy, we're gonna lose all competitive edge, yeah. This track kind of sucks for killing yourself. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, apparently a 125 is godly on this track. Never mind then. Yeah, that was the AI. It just went straight right there. I had to hit left. <laughs> We actually have pole position. Doesn't mean we get first because we're so slow at accelerating, but. I want to stop that guy. There you go. Try to fuck them up a bit while we accelerate. <laughs> oh, there goes a third. This will be a spicy race. Some irony on this game being ultra fast through corners and we're still five seconds down on real life pull time. I can attribute it to game lag. <laughs> I imagine you could make the time if you were doing manual mode for sure. That might be a bit tricky.
I <laughs> was faster than Scuderia Italia. I do them proud. <laughs> I just want somebody else to give me an offer to join their team. But I don't know if I should jump at the first offer I see. If we get one. Why do you turn that corner so fucking tight? Yeah, for some reason in this game, the after the first lap, about four to five cars retire. My theory is they did it on purpose to reduce lag for the second lap onward. Because it happens in every race. The more you put names, the more you're confused about things. It's just the magical nature of names, you know? They hold true power. commented on it but when the background screen shows the pier and you see the boats their flat bottoms you shouldn't be able to see where the boat is on the water that would be very concerning <laughs> that's not how that works IRL Like, if it's that far out in the distance, you should not see the bottom of the boat touching water. See what they did with the car condition lights? Everything else is abbreviated with the first three letters, but can't have bra in a car. I mean, they could. They could have totally had bra in the car. They have some very lewd girls in this game. I mean, cutie, cuties. Lots of honeys, yo. The honeys. Parentheses as a name gives totally different values. Why does that confuse you though? This isn't the 70s, man. Let me live my fantasies, yo. It's not like I have any honeys in real life to uh, appreciate, you know? Only my digital honeys.
I got Genshin, that's true. Some good honeys in Genshin. I think I mentioned it before, but the new region's got some real cuties coming out. What got you invested in figuring out how Dragon Quest stat growth works to begin with? Just out of curiosity. How did that come about? I imagine you were watching somebody in the video talk about it or something? No clue? Oh. Just woke up today and your brain was like, yo, Dragon Quest stat growth, how do you? <laughs> You've known for years, but you never bothered to check till now. It'd be that way sometimes. <laughs> I guess. Stop. Fucking autopilot. If you weren't so good at turning corners, I would just not use you. I don't mind taking fourth place. I do not mind it at all. We'll just get what points we can and hopefully get a better company to register us for their car. Stop slowing down just because you're near this Williams guy. You know, you're allowed to drive past the dude. There are some times where your car will just keep going and go past the AI, and I don't know what triggers it, or if there's a way to manipulate that behavior or something. Yeah, William's too intimidating. It's the color. Ah, green car! I better watch out. He's not even the lead. Like, I like their cars in these games, but... The ASDS or whatever is the current lead car. Oh, green yellow is Benetton, then I definitely mean Benetton, not Williams. Who's Williams' car? I just know they're one of the better ones. You have to forgive me, I'm not a Formula One dude. Clearly I don't pay attention. White, blue, yellow. Oh. Then yeah, definitely not Williams. Yeah, it's the Benny Bastard. Are you gonna drive past him this time, or are you just gonna be a punk-ass bitch? <laughs> See, this game is actually true to real life. This is why Scudera Italia suck, because their drivers refuse to pass the other drivers. They got scared. <laughs> That might be a little insulting to the actual drivers. I'm sure the drivers are very competent and it's all the car's fault. Mm. 
What the hell? <laughs> Shadow cast in here. Mm, I don't know about that. I think we can put the blame on the drivers. Fucking Jesus Christ. Oh my god. We caught up with the the pack laggers. It just makes it harder <laughs> because we can't get past them. What a ridiculous racing game this is. Green, yellow, blue, red is La Russe. Well, they're currently in last place. And they're scaring my car. So we're just gonna have a comfortable fourth, I think. We might even fall in the fifth. Uh, the dude behind us is on our lap, pretty sure. Scaring your car. How else do I phrase it? Comfy fourth is more than what this car should be getting. I know, I keep telling myself, this game is literally a grind. It's an RPG disguised as a Formula 1 racing game. It's not balanced. I just have to grind for a better car. Yeah, my ally is trying to fuck me again. I don't know how I feel about this. Damn, he got so screwed, he, 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 he screwed our ally so bad, he's completely stuck back there. He's still in the turns. <laughs> I mean, he gets what he gets for trying to pass me. Ally turns on the siren again, doing them police chases. Oh, that was the A the AI is uh, parking for repairs. <laughs> yeah, well, let me pass. Okay then, fuck you. I mean, shouldn't that be my guy's sentiments? Because I can't pass anybody? It's really hard on this track. The track is tight, so the car gets very scared. Doesn't want to properly control. I can't even do the overtake because we're almost never at 224 kilometers. If we're not driving fast enough, I can't do the overtake command. Oh, wait, you have knowledge. Yeah, what is the colored flags or what are the colored flags? If you are aware, because they pop up sometimes and I don't know what they mean. White means slow car ahead. Yeah, that's the fucking truth. <laughs> Ain't it? Blue car ahead here. <laughs> Blue would be fast car coming to lap you. Interesting. So car ahead, still can't get near him. I should just play manual mid. I keep telling myself to just get good at the turns and manual, but it's nice to not have to think about the turns. We'll probably do manual when I have the better car or something. Actually, if I had the better car, autopilot should be an auto victory. 
because we'll accelerate on time and hold pull position <laughs> at the start of the race. Alright, you passed me. Are you happy? You fucking cunt. <laughs> Jesus Christ, nine laps of this stupid shit. Law of the game design. Oh, now, now we pass this guy. Now we're cool with passing the guy. Nine laps is nothing. I know. You gotta understand, though. It's really not my thing. So it's like ultra boring <laughs> to do nine laps. The qualifiers take like six laps. Real life Monica, seventy-eight laps. Yeah, but it's crazy fun too to drive a car. Really fast, 78 times around the track. Especially when it's not your car. <laughs> but your sponsor's car. <laughs> and you're getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to do it, right? It's a little different when you're, you're not doing these things. An exhaust CT you can do 68, 64 laps per race. I can up the laps in this game. You can up the laps to 78 and stuff. Millions even for the past 20 or 30 years. Ooh, I undersold that value highly, didn't I? Man. Make some good money driving the speedy car around the track a whole bunch. Millions of dollars, huh? The entertainment industry is kind of hilarious to me. Imagine if we paid our educators a fraction of the amount entertainers make. What would the world be like? Comfortable fourth. Points! Yeah, we get points. Three whole pointies, yo. Make teachers sell products and they can also make millions. Could you imagine your kids are sitting in class and then the teacher just does a fucking advertisement because they're sponsored to sell some sort of product to the kids? That'd be wild. It's going to happen in the future when uh, digital education becomes the norm, right? With all the VR shit. You, you'll be in the middle of your lesson and then uh, here's a damn advertisement. It's paying for your lessons <laughs> but yeah we can go up to like 69 they have very strange values on these uh laps montreal gp <sighs> 69 is the full race that's pretty cool also nice yeah the highest values change for each track, so maybe they have the actual full race values present, which is a nice detail if someone really wants to do that. <laughs> Homework courtesy of Apple. I think they should do away with extreme amounts of homework for the youth. Y your time to learn is in the school. I know that the homework has become egregious from what I hear from my friends who have kids in school. Kids need some time to be kids, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna wait until the AI gets further so that we can do a fast lap on their qualifier here. Yes, there's been a lot of research counter to excessive homework. And yet the world refuses to change and adapt. Ba 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 ya da ba da na 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 da da na da Alright, let's go. Ba ba da ba na 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 We gonna qualify That's gotta be a damn good time, right? 121, now let's blow up the engine! If we're in first, I'm going to switch the car to the acceleration type instead of speed type and see if it uh, accelerates better or the cornering type, I guess. Damn, I didn't blow up the engine there. It's got to be close to being used up. I'll wait till we're like halfway around again. Let's 
Do you expect me to do two more laps? I don't think so. There we go. Nice and fucked up. Make you do crazy things in the name of efficiency, right? Nice and fucked up. Fast travel, yo, yeah? death warping. Damn. 121.53. Alright. So, yeah, let's try to do cornering modal. And see what happens here. Come on, game. I need you to give me an offer I can't refuse after this. This might be the way to go just for the faster acceleration. So then I can stay in the lead. Games offer, stop playing. I take that in a heartbeat. <laughs> Listen, kid, we'll count it as a victory on your side quest. Just stop playing the game now. Done. I thought we're built for cornering, man. Keep those cars behind me away. <laughs> like playing the motorcycle segment in Final Fantasy 7. Lessons learned, I suppose. Hopefully. Dude, this mid sucks because I can't even OT. We never hit 224 kilometers an hour. Problem if we can stay ahead of the AI the whole time, but it is a problem if they keep catching up. And if they pass us, we'll probably never catch them again.
For how much longer? About six laps of this to keep up with. Imagine if I had an actually good car, we, we would be unrivaled in this game. Good car. I'm honored to have a good car shake my hand in return. Do not let him pass. The reason why we start wobbling there is because the AI is getting close to us. If he hits the screen at all, it's gonna fuck us up. So that dude's gonna steer clear of him. are so good.
This game does take a tremendous amount of time. I'm probably gonna turn the music off at some point, just listen to my own music. Keep the engine sounds, of course. So while the music is appreciated, it's the same two beats for a qualifier and then race. What game are you playing, by the way? I take it your lizard is weak to cold? I suppose that makes some sense. Makes you slow, makes us all slow, right? Lethargic. At ease, car, at ease. We have four more laps to go. Just keep it up. You can do it. I believe in you. Don't let this motherfucker get close. I mean, even if they sabotage me, I'm just gonna take second, third, or fourth. I think there's three of them behind us, so fourth place is... We're either first or fourth. <laughs> Hypothetically, if we maintain the status quo here, they won't get past us. So long as their attire doesn't turn yellow. If their attire turns yellow, it's over. Because I'm not pit stopping. <laughs> but if it turns yellow, the AI control will force a pit stop, even though I would just continue to run it. Personally. on this track so it's not as bad as nine we didn't have to pit stop on the last one well, I guess the last track was tiny I don't think you needed to go down the fourth gear to make that turn. Did you really? If that was me in manual mode, I probably would have spun out of control. <laughs> Hit the grass. I'm like, oh, I can totally handle this at five or six. Yeah, that one AI dude's color is yellow. He's not in front of us. His color shouldn't be yellow. You better go blue dot again. So what's after this? We're playing a shmup. It's been a while since we played a shmup. I think we got through the bulk of the shooter games in the early years of the SNES. With all them arcade ports. Hopefully, ah, well, it's over. We will not be taking first place, their tires turned yellow. The AI did not pit stop. 
we're gonna be forced to pit stop. Sad reality of the situation. Anyway. Hopefully the shooter's not too hard. First place was fun while it lasted. I'm gonna be stuck behind a bunch of dumbasses too. You can at least stay behind me until we get forced pit stopped. Oh shit, we didn't get pit stopped. I am shocked. Maybe we can have first place. Valhalla's live. Enjoy the Valhalla stream. Give him a what's up from me, if you don't mind. Boy, this car is gonna screw us now. sure we will not be able to because in this mode you can never overtake somebody so if we start lapping people that's a problem right so we can't go fast enough to overtake all right well that was lucky if my car would stop driving like an idiot I might be able to have first place here do listen to your mortal enemies now? Uh, you don't want to watch Duelist? What happened? Duelist does nothing but treat its players absolutely spectacularly. I'm just trying to stay on course. I'm just trying to stay on course. <laughs> We're almost there. <laughs> no one let you play a Jaguar Windrunner <laughs> deck. Hey, I did see Windrunner was buffed, right? Still not good enough. <laughs> buffed, huh? I feel like Windrunner should be okay in Songhai. If you're running both Miss Dragon Seal and Jux. Agro Abyss and Bullshit Vet. What is Bullshit Vet? Oh uh, yeah, I forgot. If we don't pit on the previous round, we're gonna be force pitted on the final fucking lap. That's when the game's gonna screw us. Oh well. First place gone. <clears throat> they play minions and buff their HP? Doesn't sound like bullshit. Sounds like buffing, yeah. I'll be right back.
Sorry about that. I have to pull into my own pit stop, if you know what I mean. We should be in first right now. But this game is designed so flawed. French GP, the Magni Cure. <laughs> All right, let's keep at it. Keep grinding. still going we're gonna be playing this game for a very long time unfortunately probably it is built for s grinding a terrible decision on the devs part shadowcaster loves it <laughs> We just have to endure. I forgot to let them uh, get far ahead of me. I'll wait till they're like halfway through. You would hope this game would go for like 250 hours? Damn, that'd be a new record. I don't think it'll be that long to get through this eight times over. Possibly less than eight times. Let's hope that winning the race is enough for credits. But if I have to just grind out all eight times, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. No, that only worked because the Kawasaki devs didn't care enough. I don't think that's gonna work here. Especially when driving backwards is awkward to begin with. I could certainly check, I suppose. I haven't checked, but most Formula One games don't allow that sort of thing to happen. care about the fact that the training wheels AI is as R word as it is. 
I just wish they didn't make you have to play with the worst car and then grind it up eight times over, seemingly, in order to finish the game. Why can't it be a one and done like all other <laughs> Formula One racing games have been so far? Guys, ready to go fast? Where the one drivers love this track. <laughs> that was close. I almost overdid it there. 40 seconds just to get across the top of this track while speed boosting tremendously. That's crazy. This track is fucking huge, yeah. going to be a pretty good track time overall, but that was really bad. Actually, it's nowhere near as good as it could have been. Fine, we'll take it. We'll take it. Now I just need to blow up the engine. save screen uh, there's a number that says one out of eight and the game mentioned there being eight seasons to the race so we either have to grind all eight seasons or hopefully just win one of them to hit a credit screen but we're not gonna be able to win a season until we get a better car so right now I need to get points so somebody will offer me a better car. Ideally. Took a while to blow out the engine. Now you guys get to see the other thing the AI does. Is it doesn't want you to drive backwards. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> Well, we go for credits, so... Uh, <clears throat> we will probably do eight cycles of this. there he need 24 to see the credits 
playing a baseball game now. All 172 games of baseball go. All eight seasons of all the cars. It's like 12 or so. Oh! I wouldn't have it in me to do that, and I did 998 levels of Populous, and I played 160 or so hours, or 50, 40 hours of Mahjong. Whoops. Well, I guess we're doing the race with the same settings we had previously. That's fine. Because of the tire thing, I don't really care enough to try and get a better position. When you're playing through Populous, depending on how well you score, you skip some scenarios. But I played all the ones that were given to me up to 998, yes. took like 83 hours or something to get to the credit screen. to do one map per hundreds, like one to one hundred, one of those, one to two hundred, one of those to get them credits. Well, that is a lie. You only have to beat the final map to get credits and you can password straight to it if you want. But as part of the challenge, I can only use passwords I've earned, typically. So... Climb we go. <laughs> Your friend is very incorrect on that statement. Yay, sixth place. Right where we belong. Better than what we deserve, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> he hates some friends of mine about games in school. Hates an extreme feeling, right? under the truck if you knew how to do glitches <laughs> to set it up that way you wasted hours on it 
<laughs> sucker. But, but, you spent hours verifying that wasn't true. Hmm? Hmm? Positive spin? I'm gonna leave the car running in autopilot for a minute. I'll be right back. I gotta grab something. Okay, I'm back. Still in six. Trading passers, someone at school break for Crazy Castle on Game Boy all the time and battled who could beat the game first. He wasn't even in the class. Both of you never beat it. Yeah, solid memory. Met each other 26 years later. Talked about Game Boy stuff back then, and they're your best friends. Aww. Very touching. I don't think I've ever reacclimated with anybody from my grade school days or middle school days. Everybody's pretty cringe in high school, right? You're a completely different person then. Yeah, that's all it takes is one similar interest.
Play with Roblox too. I think I saw something that Roblox is banned in China or something for anti communist messaging or some such a little while ago. Made me chuckle. Yeah, no shame in that. The Roblox game is such a bizarre thing. It sounds like it's hugely popular for some reason, right? It's like Roblox, of all things, has an insanely successful video game. It's just out there. Does sound like a nice time. My dad used to absolutely beat my ass in chess. It's pretty brutal. we ever really played video games together. That was more of my brothers and I. All the split screen gaming. Yeah, nice. Mama Profeta doing the carts and the smash. Hate the soundtrack already. The next time I stream, I'll probably cut the music. So I have to get back on the menu screen to do it. I could do it next time I'm on the menu screen. Dad was a pinballer, huh? How many races we have left? 16 times 7 plus, uh... 9. That's worst case scenario. You mean this season? That would be the plus 9. This is only like the 8th race or so, out of 16 races. Actually this might be the, yeah, the 8th race. This might be the 7th race. <laughs> I don't think the soundtrack's terrible, but it's the same two musics. There's one on the qualifying lap and there's this one on the race. It would have been much nicer if every track had its own song, but that's not the case. Go. 
They made the AI too good to fit more music. Yeah, they had their priorities down straight. Well, I think the word circus is more correlated to the word circuit. Like a racing circuit. Because it's a fucking clown show. <laughs> Don't you guys like watching me drive around the track over and over? It's fun, yes? Look <laughs> at the AI wobbles. That's partially me. I am hitting the D-pad somewhat out of boredom and somewhat to guide the AI into a better direction. <laughs> so that's a team effort that wobble. Like this. Hitting Mach 3? Oh goodness, no. We're nowhere near Mach 1. What is Mach 1? It's like 2,200 miles an hour, or is it 4,000? Oh, I'm way off. 770 for Mach 1. 1540 for Mach 2. 2310 for Mach 3. 770 miles an hour. That is fast, yo. And yet, that is so slow. <laughs> Items to pick up. It's a simulation game. We're simulating the authentic Formula One experience right now. Apparently one does not simply upgrade their car. So why are we on the final lap of this track and my tires are still blue? Maybe it's because we're in the speed mode and not the turning mode. So we actually cover more distance. Because if we were in this situation in first place, we would have actually taken first. But instead, we're in this position in fifth. We got robbed of first in that last one. Such bullshit, yeah. <laughs> Ten bucks a month battle pass. Battle passes are a hilarious concept to me as well, but people are all more than happy to uh, donate to a battle pass. Yeah, da 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 da. Yeah, da 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 da. Anybody wanna recruit this up and coming Scuderia Italia guy? If I have to get to the towards the. Oh, we got an offer. Ooh, Ligier. We got somebody else. Yeah, hold up. Let me go to my first video with the game so I can see on what tier Ligier is on the character select screen. We have an offer. 
Uh, the next tier up. Do I hold or do I take it? Just so we're no longer part of Scuderia Italia on the next season. Because he's a second tier. I would like at least a third tier, dude. I'm gonna hold. Hopefully we uh, don't regret it. I want at least a third tier, dude. Although his car would no doubt be superior <laughs> to what we've got. We're on round nine now, so it was eight. Nine out of 16. <laughs> Guys, he rejected my offer. Show him the mistake he has made. By not becoming one of us. Make him... make him realize... <clears throat> why do I choose France to begin with? What do you mean, why do I choose France? We're playing as Italy. T Italia Scudera. Unless that's France. Doesn't sound very French to me, though. At the start of the game, we only have two choices. It's either these guys or the other team. And they both are the lowest tier teams. And they both suck equally. Apparently, in real life, we suck slightly more than the other option. <laughs> but in the game, they seem to be about equivalent. What's the other team? Sasol Jordan? Whatever Sasol Jordan is. If I get another offer from the tier 2 guy, I may want to take it, maybe. We still have some races left though. Brian Hart LTD, also known as Hart Racing Engines. I don't know about that, but... Jordan to Brian Hart now.
Find heart so much worse than Saw Soul Jordan. Sounds like a dude bought him out. <laughs> and he's like, I want my name to be the name of this team. At 126, this should be an alright time, right? I just gotta blow up my engine and then uh, we do it all over again. How should you emulate your SNES games when World War 3 is activated? Should you invest in polymer batteries and solar stuff so you can still run your Raspberry Pi 3B? That is a good question. Uh, if World War 3 happens, and if you pay attention to the current war in Ukraine, uh, holding any electronic device is grounds to get you destroyed by a UAV. Just having your cell phone on, period, is going to get you killed. <laughs> so, with that in mind, you're going to want to figure out how to not utilize electricity in any capacity whatsoever. So that you can enjoy your game safely. I don't know how you pull that off, but that is going to be the case. <laughs> Darn, sixth place? What a bummer. Card game and TTRPG players win again, yeah. Better start playing D&D. &D. Oh, who's this guy? Atarashiku, some other stuff. Well, he said nice to meet me, but he didn't actually offer me a position. Russia's gonna attack you soon if you don't stop supporting Ukraine. You think you do the most whoops, defense for them? I mean Russia Russia's threatening to attack pretty much everybody, but Russia is honestly in a pretty bad position if you look at the logistics of everything going down. If they were to attack anybody who's a member of NATO, and then the full force of NATO is brought down the bear in Russia, they'll be wiped out pretty quickly. Unironically. The only reason why they can get away with what they're doing with Ukraine is because Ukraine isn't an official member of NATO and the funny thing is that they can't become an official member of NATO. They're literally trapped in legislation because apparently you can't join NATO if you're currently involved in any wars or some bullshit like that. If that wasn't the case, I could have saved multiple hundreds of thousands of lives by incorporating them into NATO proper, right? But we live in the clown world. We have a procedure to follow. Yeah, you should be fine. There's no... Uh, I don't think... Well, anything can happen, I guess, but I don't think a full-on World War III would go down, or some such. I 
I mean, you could imagine that we were already living in World War Three, I guess, yeah. We kind of are, with the way the war is playing out. Throwing a snowball, so a snowball war and stop your neighbor from joining. <laughs> it's like, uh uh, you can't join NATO. You're, you're now currently participating in the war. No, no, no. You're a bully now, trying to defend yourself, you can't join us. Well, they should have thought about joining before they got invaded, I guess. <laughs> you hope summer will be overseen, you want the cold back? Already the end of July. This year is just breezing too. I wouldn't mind it taking its time a bit more personally. <clears throat> they were thinking about it, that's why they got invaded. That is true. That is true. They were like on on the cusp of doing it and then Putin's like, well, I guess I'm attacking now. Can't can't do anything about it if they join NATO. The situation must be pretty awful, though, by this point. What's up, Kyle, by the way? Welcome to some more Formula One grind simulator. We grind the Formula One here. Nothing good? Sorry to hear that. I hope with time, solutions can be realized for whatever it is you might be. <clears throat> How can your car's engine get destroyed? You keep pressing the A button a whole lot and you go really, really, really fast. Like this. See that orange OT light? If 
to you abuse your overtaking privilege. You can blow up your engine. Yeah, a car doesn't like going fast and winning. Been in contact with lawyers for like nine months now. It sounds like my friend's situation. He's hopefully getting paid soon. He had a person hit the back of his car and he won the court case. He's just waiting for payment now. But they were in court for like a year or dealing with lawyers for like a year and stuff. Ah, the litigious process. So hilariously slow. <laughs> Making life miserable. Wow. I hope you won the case. Like, what exactly can you possibly get sued over if you're the only person in someone's will? I would think that would be a shut case, like right away. But I don't know how these things work. I just know that there's a lot of bullshit involved. Yeah, what Kyle said. I hope you guys can overcome your current strifes. That's not an easy situation to deal with. I am also going to be in a very complicated situation when the time eventually comes around. And it's only a matter of time, too. How many more OTs I have, so I should probably cut it out. They need to retire when I can take six. We had a potential candidate interested in us, after all. pit stop on the final lap. There's nobody behind us. The rest of the racers are the blue dots on the map, so I'm pretty much guaranteed 6th place. 
If I'm lucky, this yellow dot in front of me will pit stop now and we can take fifth place. I don't think that's gonna happen. We would have heard the noise. <clears throat> Was your family just on the older end, Trauma Turtle? Yeah, that's a situation that's not even something you can really prepare for. I take it this court case is going to dictate whether you lose your house and whatnot. As well, since it's coming down to money and stuff. I will hope it ends favorably for you. It feels like it should, logically, if you were the inheritor. What possible arguments could the stepmother have against the son? It's a tough situation, though. have a spec 2 engine? I didn't earn this last time. Blend 2 gasoline. Suspension. Active suspension. New chassis. An offer from Sasol again. We're gonna say no. She kawaii yo, but nah. We don't want Sasol. That's the other team you can start out as. There's Scuderia Italia. No other offers. Hopefully. We get another offer from somebody a tier higher, so next race. We have six races to go. Hockenheim. Yeah, <laughs> begging me don't leave. I'm single-handedly carrying them to victory. It's raining, yo. It's raining. So we have apparently... Uh, a new chassis and stuff? Where's the chassis? We got a spec 2 engine, nice. Blend 2 gas? I, we've never, like, had gas problems. And the chassis probably doesn't change anything. Right, it seems like the automatic setup does... 
set everything up to the new shit, so... <clears throat> Let's see if the car goes any faster. Might be accelerating slightly faster, but I cannot tell. We're ready to win now, hopefully. That's how it works in Germany. Six months to pay, or you're gonna have problems like jail. Damn, that's like fucked up. Very fucked up. Need to wait for the AI to get further ahead so they don't screw your lap time. Yeah. Should be good enough. I think on this track we can get a pretty fast time with uh, spamming the gas pedal. I should give them more time, honestly. I feel like I'm gonna catch up to them. <laughs> Actually, kind of zooming. Was the AI not upgraded? That would be funny. Okay. We have the power of technology now. Let's see if it actually makes any difference here. We're still capped at 254, so the engine upgrading didn't really change anything. I guess it accelerates faster. Lately. be pretty nervous going that fast on a car in a car in the rain 300 kilometers an hour <laughs> like if you're on a train on the rails maybe that's fine but car on the road I don't know about that Add it till we're done.
Ah, so good to break the engine, right? I'm not a racist fan. It's okay, I'm not a racist fan either. But, I am committed, if nothing else, and determined to see this through. Not being a fan of racism, crazy, right? I feel like dual tracks rubbing off on all of us. Something like that, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god, guys. Guess what I just realized. We can't do the trick anymore because we technically have two engines. I have a replacement engine. Now I have to burn out the other engine too. So I can't overheat and lose the race. This means it might be faster to just finish the qualifiers normally. <laughs> Wow, my one speed trick taken from me by an upgrade. This is like playing Mega Man X5 at zero and you realize beating Pegasion destroys the slash dash cancel. <laughs> Did you mention got them water cooling now? Yeah. <laughs> That is, uh, unfortunate. I guess I'll just play out the races moving forward. I mean, I can, I'm trying to break the engine again, but it's not going to break on this round, and I think there's only one more lap after this lap. Technology wins everything again. Of course, we have access to a spare engine now, why the fuck wouldn't we? Listen, when the OT light is on, you should not do what you do. Yeah, what's up, brother? Home from work. <clears throat> I'm still down for it. Just let me know when I'm racing in the meantime.
Ah, that's why you just suddenly stop. <laughs> Is this winning? Oh, our engine's blown out. We just need to pit stop. This is a qualifier race. It doesn't matter. We have our 128 time. Which is probably pretty decent. Yeah, you keep cutting out. I think your internet needs a little help. <clears throat> Very good, sir. Oh shit. Hopefully. I was going to ask if your internet was stable. You know what came out today? Easy keys out. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Damn, I was 0.30 seconds off of the top position. That is fine. Okay. Izuki, yes. And my friend and I are gonna do some Undernight Inbirth later. The new character came out. Okay, this guy's talking to us again. Could you actually offer me a job, yo? Or is- I wonder if he's saying I have to, like, win to get the job. Oh shit, am I streaming that? I will. He needs some time, he's just getting home from work. Maybe around 8.30 or so we will play some Undernight. Do some uni. It'll be Uzuki Mirrors, probably. We were both interested in the new character. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed. This is a sick fighting game. If any of you play Undernight, I'd be down to play Undernight <laughs> with some of you. We play the fighting games here. Well, nobody passed us, so if we start in pole position with this tier 2 engine, we might actually be able to win races. Moving forward. <laughs> he had a very nice mustache. How considerate of him to show it off to me. asking us to throw the race. Yeah, because Atalia Scudera's track record is so big that they need to throw the race. We're such a huge threat to the other racers out there.
<laughs> family's alive and well for now. Oh, good. Hypothetically, this should be the freest first place that we ever did have. Making soup for your dad? Ooh. What kind of soup? Hope it's good. Good soups. Mashed potatoes, delicious. I had a can of mixed vegetables for dinner. Yo, 2 a.m. snackies? Nice. Getting them carbs in there? <laughs> delicious starch feeds at 2 in the morning. Last night I had buttered noodles, reheated leftovers at like 3 in the morning and corn also reheated from the previous night's dinner I was like yeah I'm hungry I'm just gonna reheat this stuff and eat it Them 2 a.m. snackos. Hungry now, hearing them F1 engines growling all the time. This is a very hunger inducing genre. For sure. I wonder if F1 drivers are allowed to eat while racing. Do they? I'm sure they have like snacks maybe, but. They probably can't eat with the helmets on their head, right? I actually have no idea if they can eat with the helmet on or not during a race. Shadow Caster would be so proud. First place is Scuderia Italia. Killing it. Two laps left, huh? And if my tires turn yellow, it's all over.
Please let me have this. Uh-uh, stay away. I don't know who that is, but fuck off, fucko. Alright, sponsor me, any better offer me the job of a lifetime. So that is a first place. the ninth race of 16 we could still technically win the whole thing if i took first for the rest of the races and the guy up top didn't get second every time no cecil no yeah no scuderia italia no no, no, no. No. I saved my game now. Oh, this track. This track probably will suck. <clears throat> what that mode 7 do in this game provides the most realistic and First person 3D graphics. I guess third person 3D graphics. What's up, Slater? So realistic? That's right. It's like you're there. Absolutely. We have better water cooling for you to offer, so you have to qualify all the time. Right, we have to run these qualifiers. XD actually qualifying in your races. Damn, small land updated too. They added the praying mantis and mantis armor. Incubators. Base raids, traps. Lychen.
Too many games to want to play. Too many games to play. Have to focus on this one first. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I wasn't paying attention. And we, since we have to finish the laps anyway, I was getting a little distracted looking at a. Patch notes. I need the AI to get ahead of me so we can have a good lap time. I need someone who's offering me mashed potatoes so I can use those instead of water for cooling, for instance, skipping, qualifying. Just go faster than everyone else, no big deal. Easier said than done, my friend. Easier said than done. Alright, the game has my attention. Shall drive like no no driver has driven before on the hunger the RP RP F uh, GP <laughs> Patch notes English is on the bottom oh, there's a button you can click to jump down past few maps which is I think advantageous to us still <clears throat> what is that is that a new drink you're trying <laughs> giant can <laughs> you just bought a big beastie today damn five bucks better be 24 ounces for five bucks What does it say on the can? <laughs> What's it got in there? Australia. Guys, I accidentally blew up my engine before I could get my pit time, so I fucked up. We went too fast. It's okay, I'll try again with the second engine that we have. Oh, it actually just retired us this time, eh? Oh, we didn't qualify. I have to reset now. I mean, we didn't get an opportunity to use the second engine this time. That's weird. This game is weird, yo. <clears throat> what, they take it away from me? Hungaroring. Qualify. Let's see if we have 
We do have both engines, so I don't know why. I guess the trick will work, maybe, still. <clears throat> that, that's a, that's a two-hander cannon right there. <laughs> Damn, dude. Oh, is this is some thick cannage. Chat, you want to see what my friend is drinking right now? He, he bought this giant Australian beer can. I'll share it with you. Just give me a second to bring it up. We need to uh, slow down, too. This is what my friend got. He got this giant can. <laughs> Amazing booze here. Look at this bad boy. Compared it with a bottle. This is a thick can of beer. <clears throat> Just figured I'd share real quick what he's got. Unfortunately, the two dudes lagging behind or really lagging behind. We were going to catch up to them. All right, let's go a little less hard on the uh, octane. Why am I drinking them hardcore alcohol driving? I'm not drinking it. That's my friend is drinking it. Bad boy. That's what my friend has. I can't afford. Five dollar giant cans of beer, yo. Yeah. And if I could, I, I wouldn't waste my money on beer. <laughs> it's other things to buy, like more video games. And saving for important stuff. Ya ta 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 ya ta 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 ya ta 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 ya ta 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 That's not a very good uh, mindset to have. I like supporting my hobby. And I saw a very comical video the other day talking about The Witness. The Witness developer was talking about how he was on a stream watching someone play his game and it was a big streamer huge chat but immediately he identified that the streamer was playing a pirated copy of the game and he could identify it because the pirated copy of witness that circulated the internet had like a chinese hacker team that hacked the font in the chinese and then the English hacker teams took the Chinese hacked version and they didn't know how to unhack the Chinese hard coding of the text, so they put subtitles in. 
but the subtitles were like super big so anyone who's playing that copy of the game would have this big ass tell that they're playing a pirated copy of the game <laughs> I was just like man that's hilarious and sad at the same time yeah I know you're talking about old games it just made me think of that story I went off on a tangent there if I could afford them, I would uh, keep buying Super Nintendo games. I have a bunch behind me. We've played on my actual carts for quite a few games, like Star Fox and the such. Rather than my flash cart. But it is a hell of a lot more affordable to just have a flash cart. with all the games on it. Wow, 114.94, not fast enough, huh? Oh well, it's good enough for me. Here's this damn guy again. Probably tra uh, translate what he's saying exactly. You'd still buy SNES games if they were buyable somewhere, even digitally. You bought some on Steam. I had thought of a genius idea for all game companies to do. They should release quote unquote retro consoles. But instead of coming pre-packaged with games, every single game in their library should be re-released digitally to be bought on these retro consoles for a very low price, like three to five bucks per game. But they should all be available to purchase on the machine. So not like the SNES Mini and all the mini bullshit things. They would make so much money without doing any work. <laughs> People would eat that up. You see, my mustache kept growing the last three weeks. You still suck at qualifying. We don't want you. I believe it. That's definitely exactly what he said. You could buy all the SNES games, paying a couple thousand. The mustache man who asked us again, he did. He, he came by, he said, hey, you're uh, not getting sponsored, but I'm going to stop by and talk to you all the same. Overtake powers activate. Oh, what's changed about it? I haven't gotten a look at them yet.
Huh. So they want people to consider using it more. I mean, very few people were using it. Uh, it just feels unnecessary for the most part. Some people incorporated it into their combos at Evo. idea. Every driver retiring, I earn 1.2 million per race. Why am I still racing? Let's cut this job after one season with the life now. Breeding rare chickens. Bleed chickens, hopefully. Oh. The grid meter. I should have asked how much they pay in taxes and how many fees do they have to pay like how expensive is it to enter a GP race I imagine it's not cheap you need to buy yachts and private jets private jets are my favorite concept humanity has come up with there's such a huge waste of money. <laughs> but fuck public transportation. Catch up to the pack leaders, by the way. Imagine sharing transportation with another human being. I used to do that all the time back in Philly. SEPTA bus is wild with the most pleasant of other human beings. Nothing but the finest smelling people and finest behaviored people of all ages on SEPTA. Ah, what wonderful times. Biakia looking. No one's nerfed so far, were they? Or are there some nerfs?
well, yeah, that that's nerfs. I think. It takes longer for them to recover, yeah. Well, who, how's it worded? Did it say increased opponent's recovery on block or his recovery? Because then he's getting buffed. Oh, then? Yeah, then he's getting buffed. Well, nice. <laughs> they don't recover as fast now. Be Yuzuki today. We can mirror match all day today. Oh, we got an improved engine, and I still can't catch up to these fuckers. <laughs> Ahead of us. What? Oh, I guess that dude that wanted Hilda to get buffed got what he wanted. <laughs> left to go in this fucking racetrack. You could block it in the air. to Aji now. <laughs> Alright, 
Did he get his fucking dodge roll back? Honestly, I don't think you ever dealt that much damage to me via that. But it's a nice buff. That's a good buff that he doesn't take damage anymore. Ah, I OT too often in this race. I actually just ruined my, uh... We can score zero points for this one. I don't really care. Unless it affects our offers. I'm gonna see if we get any offers at the end of this. I might reset that. I'm surprised that... I guess this race is just too long. I have to reduce the amount of OT I use to like once per lap. I might be able to do better on a retry too. <laughs> wow, I hate it very much. Her health was reduced, what the hell? Car, are you okay? <laughs> Abused OT only got up for it. Th that's the AI doing it. I tapped out for a minute. He's like, oh god, other cars. I'm gonna hide my head in the wall. <laughs> I just want to read some patch notes, yeah. It's worse as you upgrade, yeah. We had it good from the get go. Shit, I keep forgetting we have a second thing. <clears throat> Am I really in seventh place? Oh. That's really a pity then. Oh well. I still want to get through just to see what happens <clears throat> offer wise. Thank you. 
badge. Okay. Any offers for this hot commodity? Terrell. Okay, they're one tier up. I didn't mean to say okay to them. Yo, Baritone. They're on the highest tier. Oh, but I had chosen Terrell. Wait, am I in Baritone now? How does this work? Oh, alright, we're gonna reload. Apparently Baritone's gonna offer us... ...next. <laughs> so, I didn't mean to say yes to Terrell. Unfortunately, we have to do that again. Unfortunately, things are looking up. Is that a tier 3 offer? Well, based on the listing... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4... There's 5 brackets. They're on the, the highest of the 5 brackets. So there would be a tier 5 offering. And that's good shit right there. Do this again. <clears throat> Ice cream. What do you mean it got nerfed? <laughs> Done. <laughs> I didn't realize it was so good. Apparently. They reduced their overall damage output for a lot of things, it seems. They want to slow the game down a bit. I think they're they're far enough around, right? <laughs> Might have held on to that a bit too long.
What did we get last time on this track? Was it the 114? This does actually pretty slow. Alright, good. He's burned out. Some big changes. through the stupid wizard cat called Natasha in the game. Damn Natasha. Yo, what's up? Greetings to you, friend. good <clears throat> yeah I think we did worse than we did last time I wonder if I could get a 113 but that's okay I just want to get recruited by the good guy Recruit me! I just want a good car. I just want a good car. No good car for me. Never good car for Harpu. And the one we're gonna get a good car and the AIs are just gonna have magically better cars. So it won't even fucking make a difference. was a very big can damn put her down three times she told her she's not allowed to live anymore she's not allowed to reincarnate anymore it's not allowed to exist anymore And you ripped your soul out, and I'm sure you put that down too. Vicious skull.
<laughs> I will make good use of her hat. This is my hat now. I feel like M. Andretti retires in every single race. Why is this guy even allowed to race? out real fast with that drink. <laughs> you can't use the hat because it won't fit. Damn, you need to get a tailor to adjust the hat. My head is too big. So what you're saying is you murdered someone in cold blood and you did it to steal their hat that you can't even use. Pretty cold of you. Cold blood and It's all fair game in the dungeon crawl world. I don't know, man. I don't know. Karma is gonna come back and get you. Gotta find out that wizard had like a sibling, and now they're out for revenge. There's something, I don't know.
The cat has a master you can find a fight too. Cat master. Six more laps of this nonsense. I've been... I've been good and I've not used my OT as much, but without using it, we, we can never catch up to the pack leaders. Shame that. track is putting me to sleep it's so long <laughs> hungary's track is so long going with three laps left I hopefully won't actually catch up to the guy who's lagging behind and getting lapped at the moment and then we could just take this place it's all good as well Yeah. 
I think that's just the blue guy taking a pity. And then you're not a lizard person, you're half dragon person. Dragons are just big lizards, really. Really big lizards. Now spit mud. This game sounds pretty radical, honestly. Wait, why are we catching up to your dude? We're not supposed to catch up to your dude. I risked breaking my engine just to get out of the way of that guy. <laughs> Sixth place or fifth place. I just I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. That's what I get for being inattentive to the AI freaking out. I heard the thing go off, so yeah, he, he decided to recharge his stuff. My fifth place. Mine. Mine, mine, mine. I'm not tapping the A button again. I want to, but I'm not doing it.
Hey, you think it's OP now. When you're playing those kinds of games, you gotta abuse every single thing you can. So you're gonna get in a situation, you're gonna be like, wow, this mud is just not good enough. <laughs> Okay, do not accept the first sponsor unless it's the guys in the high tier. So I don't know if RNG will change this time around. Oh, see, we got a spec three engine from the factory now. And blend three gasoline. A lead. We don't want too low tier for us, right? Yeah, they're only they're tier they're tier two. They're one tier up. Don't want them. Terrell is also tier two. Don't want them. Where's my huge offer? I didn't get this time. It's bullshit. <clears throat> I guess they only talked to us because I had said yes to the other one. I'm guessing that's what it is. And then the game is just like, Oh, you should have held off because we were going to offer you, but... <clears throat> you took their offer. Yeah, spec 3 engine is apparently not a high speed engine. How's it not high speed? Yeah, active. Blend 3. We're gonna try it out, even though it says it's not high speed. It's on the auto specker. It's not like I can actually determine what the engine be doing, you. Saw me refusing too many people. It's because I'm waiting for him. Oh, this engine goes past 254. Why is it not marked on the speed engine? <laughs> It actually has a faster top speed. I don't know if it accelerates faster. We need to chill for the AI. And then I can zoom, zoom, zoom. I want to go zoom, zoom. Yeah, da, 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 da. Okay, should be good enough.
I got a watch going fast on that turn. Turns a little rough. Not sure if a 141 is good on this track, but it'll have to do for us. Now then, I guess I'll, I'll leave the autopilot to finish with three engines. I don't know if I can blow this up and just end it anymore, right? So I think we have to finish the qualifiers, which is another two laps or so.
Okay, I'm back. I stepped away for a moment. Yeah, da 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 da. Rain, race car, rain. That is the situation we see ourselves in. This might be the last race we do for the night. And then I'll take a break. And we'll probably switch over to Undernight Inbirth soon. Socks. I love how no matter what we do, we are still just not fast enough. Yeah, just not fast enough. dry tires for that last one because uh, that would explain I don't know what act of suspension even does I should probably figure out what this guy is saying. <laughs> we want him to pick us up, right? We want to play with his big cars, his fast cars. So I should probably translate this real fast. Just gotta open up the translator. OCR. I can maybe figure out what the hell he is saying to me all the time. I don't see any numbers, so... Let's find out here. Says we have a new sponsor. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting a new sponsor. That doesn't really enlighten me at all. It's a general greeting. General greeting nonsense.
Soup is ready. Ooh. Enjoy your soup. Hope you enjoy your soup and your father. Hey, you want to slow down so bad, car? How about I slow you down the last? So for you. <clears throat> Good luck on the rain. The rain. I cannot affect the rain in any way, shape, or form. Now, since we have this new engine, I should probably go for, uh, cornering strats and see how the car performs.
They have good taste, clearly. I see your fifth place person. Said your library is available now, Amro. <laughs> no, it means you got signed off or disconnected. Oh boy, a new chassis, the 932. Terrell? Uh, I don't want Terrell. I might have to accept Terrell. Italian GP World Championship in Monza. Alright, we'll take a break here. We're saved up. Uh, let me think. I am actually going to turn the stream off for uploading convenience of myself and I'll probably take a semi-extended break 
But I'll be back in a little bit with Undernight and Birth, more than likely. If that doesn't work out later for some reason, I'll just grind more of this in a few and make it a separate session. But for those who tuned in for the SNES, thanks for hanging out and watching. If you guys enjoyed some more grinding, I'm gonna go back up the save file just in case. And uh, we'll get back at it tomorrow, probably. Just grind all day.